for South Shore Arts and the Region 1 representative for the Indiana Arts Commission, which includes Lake Porter and LaPorte counties. Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Sharp with the Indiana Arts Commission uh, Deputy Director of Programs, and I'm just here to just kind of observe and oversee the process. And then we have Brett Roberts, who's on uh, as well, who will be assisting with, with any technological issues should they arise. Excellent. Welcome, everyone. Now we'll begin the panel review. This is how the process will work. I will announce the application we will review and ask the first reader to begin the discussion. The first reader will provide their assessment of the application based upon the evaluation criteria and their perspective. Panelists, please note that the applications do not need to be recapped since everyone has read it. Just provide your comments. After the first reader is finished, I will ask the second reader to present any new, additional, or opposing comments. We are not looking for consensus, just a full evaluation from the different perspectives panelists bring to the table. After the second reader has finished, I will open the discussion for final comments. Remember, in the interest of time, we are only looking for new, additional, or opposing viewpoints. If a panelist has a conflict of interest, that panelist will be placed on hold while the application is reviewed. However, there are no conflicts of interest in this panel. Finally, once the application has been reviewed by the full panel, we ask the panel to update their scores in the online system. It is common for scores to change as a result of this broad discussion. These scores save automatically. Are there any questions? Excellent. Let's begin. We'll start with the application from the Dunes Learning Center. The first reader is Matt Franklin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> first off, I think this grant presents an organization that's committed to its mission and its diverse range of students in the region, striving to be at the forefront of environmental education in the Indiana Dunes. Um, overall, I think the grant shares a lot of information about the organization but for the grant application purposes, I'd prefer to see more detail and explanation about the specific arts projects or project that was being presented and how your organization built off of arts projects in the past to inform this year's planning. Uh, the artists chosen seem to have a wealth of experience in a variety of disciplines. Uh, but once again, I'd like to see more detail and descriptions about how their talents would be used to create an engaging artistic experience. Um, as for the documentation provided, uh, it shows a program that explores science and nature. Uh, but once again, I'd like to see more about the uh, specific art project um, that's being presented. Um, related to community engagement, uh, I think the surveys of the teachers are very beneficial. Um, I think they really try to get that feedback uh, all across the board. Uh, I think it'd be interesting to have the group survey the students as well, so that might be a possibility um, somewhere down the road. Um, I think the application could be improved by going into more detail about how the organization is engaging its community and its recent participants in the planning process for the next year's project, especially the art education part of the program. Um, but overall, I think the project management and the organization staffing and the proposed artists seem more than capable to carry out the project as the lead staff is appropriately experienced. Uh, and the planning process and timeline seems appropriate and the project's budget seems very reasonable. And that's it. Okay. Um, Sorry, this. learning the new curve. Okay. Excellent, thank you, Matt. The second reader, Kenya Shears? Um, yes, Matt um, was very thorough in his um, evaluation and I don't see any new points that I could bring that Matt hasn't already brought up. Excellent, that probably will be a reoccurring theme throughout today. Matt is very thorough, which is awesome. We appreciate that, Matt. Uh, and uh, are there any new, Kenya, thank you so much. Are there any new, additional, or opposing comments by any of the other panelists? 
For me, I liked how they um, captured, they're going to capture both the short and medium term outcomes. And as a reviewer, that um, got to me. So. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. Anyone else? Uh, yes. Um, I thought their brochure was very engaging, but I would have liked um, some information on how it's distributed since uh, many of the underserved and low-income households don't have Wi-Fi access and can't take advantage of social media. And I would have liked a little more detail on the timeline. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. Anyone else? No? Fantastic. Panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments. While we're on the break, uh, Jeff, do you want to walk me through what exactly you want to switch here? Yeah. Um, I have everything printed out in front of me, so I would rather see um, all of the panelists on my full screen instead of okay. having the Zoom. Yeah, so where you see the, pi the pictures of the people, um, mm -hmm. there should be a button that has, let's see, I gotta look at mine. I see it. Yep, and it should say a gallery view or full view, and it should bring up everybody's pictures at once that you can kind of pull over the screen. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. Panelists, do we need more time? I'm fine. Okay. Excellent. I'm not hearing that we need any more time. So we'll move to the second application. The Whiting Robertsdale Community Improvement Grant will first hear from first reader Jane Lohmeyer. Okay, um, this is an organization that has been uh, doing this project for 26 years, providing uh, free concerts. Um, under artistic quality, I like the fact that they made an effort to integrate with other events happening in the community. I would have liked to have had more information on the artist ensemble selection process. Under community engagement, um, I did not find any information about how they were going to evaluate their project. Uh, there, it was a very um, short section and I don't think that they fully covered uh, all of, of their community engagement. Your, uh, the marketing materials didn't show evidence of a broad socioeconomic appeal, yet they um, described that in the grant, uh, said that they wanted to, but there wasn't uh, any specific evidence. And uh, again, the underserved populations that they're trying to attract don't have the uh, Wi-Fi accessibility. So uh, did, what other means besides uh, the internet would they have of, of um, getting their information out? Did they have posters? Uh, did they have public service announcements? Things like that. Um, under project management, I would like to read more about the staffing and their responsibilities. And I would like to see more detail on the timeline. Also, just as a general comment, um, I would like to see the applicant use the numbers that were uh, in the questions, the numbers on the questions in their answers so we could target the specific answer to the question. And this came up in, in several grants. That's all I have. 
Excellent. Thank you, Jane. And now we'll hear additional new or opposing comments from second reader Angelina Selleck. Angelina? Um, no, I was in support of Ms. Jane. Um, the only thing I have to add is um, they seem pretty confident of how they've been running their project for um, all these years. And the nicest thing I thought about it uh, is the continuation of um, how it's free and it is the reach is to be diverse and um, the mission to enhance and promote the culture um, was supported by that. Uh, the visual aids, they did send a nice little uh, copy of that. And um, I would agree with Jane that it, it was not as diverse as um, it could possibly be to confirm the encouragement of um, others to join other than the people that already know about it. And um, that's about it. All right, excellent. Thank you, Angelina. All right, and now we'll uh, open up the floor for discussion from any of our panelists with any new additional or opposing comments. Yeah, this is Matt. I, I thought um, they really strive to make it accessible and available to many. But um, I think their input um, into the planning doesn't seem to reflect that. Like I would like to see more um, discussion about how they're trying to engage them. And a little thought or suggestion when it came to the budget, I thought it was difficult to plan a budget if um, the program hasn't been finalized yet. Um, so I might suggest that the planning process could be moved up earlier to allow adequate time to prepare a budget in alignment with that year's specific program. Um, I just, I don't, I'm not sure how they can uh, put a budget together without knowing who they're gonna be bringing in. That's it. And I kind of agree with Matt. There's just one concern I had on the budget. It said you had ticket sales, but then you also um, didn't really talk about that in your um, narrative, but you said it was a free event. So it was a, a little unclear for me on that section. Excellent. Anyone else? No other comments, panelists? Fantastic. Please finalize your scores and update your online comments. Panelists, have you had an ample time? Excellent. If no one needs any more time, we'll move on to the third application. Applicant Michigan City Chamber Music Festival. First, we'll hear from first reader, Kenya Cheers. Kenya? Sorry, I was having trouble on mute, muting my mic. Um, yes, um, we're talking about the um, Michigan City um, Chamber Music Festival, and it has been around for 20 years. And um, what I liked mostly about it was that um, I was impressed, I would say, that they used past experiences to see what uh, part of the community wasn't um, represented and they reached out to try to include that community, I mean that part of the community into um, what they were doing. Um, it seems like they have a lot of participation from the community as far as it um, goes. They um, also 
made sure that um, surveys were taken to see how well uh, to measure the success of the programs or how well they were um, doing with the community. And um, it seemed um, the budget and the timeline seemed pretty detailed and the artists that were involved seemed like they were um, appropriate or uh, well, um, very professional in their approach to, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> to um, carrying out these, um, the tasks that they were, or the goals that they were trying to accomplish. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I have to say about it right now. All right, excellent. Thank you, Kenya. And so for me, I, I believe that the project utilized their SWOT analysis, um, which really stood out to me in finding that what their weaknesses were, like Kenya was saying. Um, you state you're getting input from disadvantaged and underserved, but it was a little unclear for me on how you're actually doing this. Um, as Kenya said, your timeline was very detailed and thorough. I would just like a little more information about how you're going to illustrate those strategies of inclusion, diversity, and equity. And maybe a little bit more on the measure of success. Could have been a little stronger to bump up your score. Excellent, thank you so much, Mary. And now we'll open it up for comments. Any new, additional, or opposing comments from any of the panelists on application three, the Michigan City Chamber Music Festival? I just had one. Um, I thought it was a very strong application. I thought there was one rather large oversight was the failure to answer the question related to an evaluation plan. Uh, to measure the success of the proposed project. Um, as uh, Jane mentioned earlier, I did appreciate the numbering system and the 1As and the 1Bs and the 1Cs, but uh, when it came to the section with community engagement, it's almost like they ran out of time to address um, that rather important part of the application. Excellent, thank you, Matt. Any of the other panelists have comments on applicant three? Yes, um, the uh, program that they submitted in their uh, artistic documentation was wonderful, but those are only available at the venue. And um, I was wondering what other means of marketing uh, they were using besides social media. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. Anything else, panelists? Fantastic. Please finalize your scores and update your online comments for applicant three. Panelists, have you all had ample time to update your comments and scores for application three? Yes, excellent. Um, if I might interject, I would just like to say, um, Kenya and some of the newer panelists, I know it's easier said than done, but try not to be uh, nervous or intimidated by the uh, level of detail <laughs> some other panelists might be giving it's a like donna said in our training it's a learning process for everybody you're doing awesome your unique perspective is the value that you bring to this process not that you match other people's 
uh, level of experience or, or past involvement. So we appreciate all of you participating. If we are ready, we will move on to application four, Boys and Girls Club of Greater Northwest Indiana. First, we'll hear from first reader, Angelina Selleck. Angelina. Okay, I forgot to unmute. Okay, um, I was really excited about this one. I felt that um, Boys and Girls Club, um, they've been around for a very long time. And um, I thought their application was almost extremely thorough. So they've pretty confident as far as um, what they're all about. I loved that their age ranges um, are so wide. So from five to 18 years of age. So that covers a, a big chunk of um, the community. And um, one of the, uh, the newer things that might be something that they're gonna have to learn about is they just joined with Porter County. So like in Porter County, Mary, just a couple of years ago. And that might just present a few challenges, which I thought was kind of curious as far as um, their staffing staffing to um, participant ratio. So um, I just need a little bit more information on um, the ratio to the adults, to the children, now that they're joining. Um, let's see. One of the really neat things that I loved about this particular program is that they have dedicated, dedicated space to the arts program. I mean, that is something they do every day and um, it's not something that they clear off the table and then they now make room for an art project. It's something that um, is very strong for them as one of their projects. <laughs> um, they did say also that the clients, that the children are very involved in um, picking their projects for the future. I was kind of um, not certain as far as how they went about communicating with the participants because they did say they had surveys. They had beginning surveys and then they had surveys at the end of the season, but um, usually those are filled out by the parents. So as far as their true um, communication with the participants, I was a little bit unclear as to how they go about doing that. Um, that's it. Excellent. And our second reader, Matt Franklin, with any new opposing or additional comments? Uh, I think Angelina touched most of my stuff. Uh, the only other kind of, I thought, area for improvement in the application would be to see examples of how the group has taken user experiences into account when planning their next year's project and details about the lead person providing oversight to the project within the organization but as she alluded to, um, very strong, um, and they're continuing to build off of it, uh, it seems like year after year. Excellent, thank you, Matt and Angelina. Do we have any new additional or opposing comments from any of the other panelists on application four? Uh, I would have liked to have seen more intentional strategies to address barriers and diversify participants, um, including the underserved communities um, and or providing uh, accessibility accommodations. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. Any other panelists with comments on applicant four? Fantastic panelists, please take a few moments to finalize your scores and update your online comments.
Panelists, I'm trying to get a read on the level of activity or inactivity. Are we okay to move on to applicant five? Excellent, fantastic. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. And now moving on to application five, Highland Park and Recreation. First reader, Mary Thell. Great, so this project uh, is going to bring performance downtown Highland free of charge. It's been going on for around 35 years. I appreciate that you're going to try to foster appreciation and enjoyment of the arts. And I also agree that bringing name recognition helps maybe bring in drawing more interest. Um, I would have liked to learn more about the potential artists that you um, might be bringing in and about the director of the performance in this section. While I think your um, pictures are great as far as artistic examples, I would have liked to get a little more information and maybe even captions around the pictures. Um, in the community engagement section, um, please add more detail to the four questions. Um, you have more than 5,000 more characters to use, so please um, incorporate some more information. Um, some of the questions I may have had are, how are you going to use um, those who are your project audience input and development and planning on your next performance? Also, I think you had great tools and methods that you're going to utilize to measure the success of a, the project impact. You had great in-depth in details about the, your staffing and relevant experience of your project manager and other key staff. You also had a very detailed timeline, and I also recommend everybody to put in evaluation into your timeline for all um, applicants. What I would suggest is to give a little more information, as I said before, about into the artists and the potential um, that you're going to use, and also a little more information into the um, strategies that would help in the community engagement area. Excellent. Thank you so much, Mary. And our second reader, Jane Lohmeyer. Uh, yes, I agree with um, all of those comments. And I had, uh, I thought the project management, the personnel and timeline information was nice and concise and informative. But I had a question about the budget. Um, they indicated $5,400 more in expenses than they had in income, and uh, these figures should match, and there was no explanation for this difference. And that's it. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mary and Jane. Do we have any new additional or opposing comments from any of the other panelists on applicant five Highland Parks and Recreation. Hearing no new additional or opposing comments. Thank you first and second readers. Panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments for application five, Highland Parks and Recreation. Panelists, have we had ample time to update your scores for applicant five? Fantastic, thank you so much. We'll move along to application six, Family Folklore Foundation. I'll turn it over to first reader, Matt Franklin. Um, the application shares a lot of information about the organization, um, but there was less details about the project. Um, um, the application suggests a program that explores science and nature, and I wanted to see more how the arts was going to be used to help further the education uh, within the project. Um, 
It shows a variety of discipline and the people involved with the project, but once again, I'd like to see more detail and descriptions about how their talents would be used to create an engaging artistic experience. Um, for example, the project summary states that this is a project about Indiana geology and space travel to Mars, including a simulated space voyage uh, at the Challenger Learning Centers and, and take Indiana park trips to study geology. Um, so there was only a small mention of radio plays and puppet shows. Uh, in my opinion, that's what I'd like to see be more the focus uh, of the application. Uh, community engagement. Um, I thought there was plenty of opportunities to Im improve in this area in the grant application. Um, the IAC has been stressing this as being one of the most important. Um, it seems to miss um, opportunities for community engagement, uh, especially related to the planning process. Uh, I think the application presents a program that strives to serve the community, but it misses the opportunity to try to engage the community to get their insights as to what they would like to see. Um, as Jane alluded to earlier, addressing responses in the format requested would make the application easier to read. Uh, for example, when it says to answer a question in four parts, please answer with appropriate number as opposed to lumping everything into one long response, which makes it harder to understand. Um, and for me, two of the provided links didn't work, which left the organization's homepage and a press release as the only example of the marketing materials and the social media slash web presence for, to reflect those that you seek to serve. Uh, as far as the project management, the staffing seemed reasonable. Uh, although it was just copied from the project description. And um, whereas I thought the budget was reasonable, um, it did not meet the requirements of the IAC grant as described in the instructions. Um, so for um, at least 2,500 of the 5,000 must be in cash. So for this project with a $6,000 budget, the IEC grant request should be maxed at $3,000 with at least $1,500 in cash. Uh, with no explanation by the grant applicant as to why, um, I think that um, really uh, puts a mark against this application as far as the, the budget goes. Excellent, thank you, Matt. And any new additional or opposing comments from second reader, Kenya. Okay, hi, yes. Um, Matt um, hit on most of the things that I had. One other thing um, that I wanted to mention was even the flyer that they submitted as far as putting it out to the public, it didn't really tell what service they were providing or how they were um, or what they were. So it was just a flyer with a time and a place and just a title, but not necessarily what was um, what they were doing or how they were going to engage the public or um, or what the program was itself. Excellent. Thank you, Kenya and Matt. Panelists, are there any other comments on Application 6 Family Folklore Foundation? Hearing nor seeing any additional comments. We have made it halfway through uh, panel three review. So at this time, I would like to check in with our panelists and see, do we need to take a quick break? How's everybody doing? I'm good. Everybody all right? All right, fantastic. Then with everyone's permission, we will keep moving right along. Panelists, we greatly appreciate your insightful comments. Uh, keep up the great work. We'll move along to application number seven, Crossroads Connect. Turning it over to our first reader, Jane Lohmeyer. Uh, this is a uh, first year for this uh, festival. Um, under artistic quality, 
I thought it would be helpful if they mentioned more specific participants since it is a first time event and there isn't any um, artistic documentation other than uh, the Indiana Ballet Theater, which they didn't even bother to mention in the narrative. So getting things coordinated in your uh, narratives would be very helpful. It's unclear whether this is a one-time event or several events. At one point, uh, they described the event in the park at, and, uh, on one day. And then in another section, they talk about pop-up events happening throughout the year that were not mentioned in the description of the project. So again, coordinating um, your narratives. Uh, I applaud their reaching out to a variety of organizations for ideas, promotion, and recommendations, but they don't mention a clear evaluation plan. Um, and under project management, when filling in the cash budget section, uh, please use the su suggested format. Your income and expenses were mixed together in the format presented for evaluation. Uh, so tabs don't work in those boxes and uh, following the recommended format really helps the grant reader. Um, April seemed a little late uh, for me to be contacting participants, artists, vendors, etc. It seems that um, they would be planning their uh, summers and, and uh, events that they attend a little earlier than that. So you might consider moving that date up a little bit. Um, that's all I have. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. And uh, second reader, Angela, Angelina, do you have any new additional or opposing comments? A couple, yeah, a couple of things. Um, I do support uh, Jane um, in the areas of artist and selection, and um, I was kind of not certain on how they had planned on doing that, um, like how they were going to select the artists. And um, and as far as they did mention something about having demonstrations throughout the event, and curious as to if they decided to do an overlapping on times, or are there going to be specific slots for uh, certain types of dem demonstrations, and um, perhaps some subcommittees, because I don't think they mentioned anything of that. Um, subcommittees like for the food, and they talked about um, like food trucks and food setups, so they're going to need something separate to do that and um, set up a breakdown of the project. So subcommittees would be, um, if they were mentioned, um, would be a little bit more um, confident in um, if this would be ready for uh, the time frame that they were considering. Um, let's see. And one other thing that I was unclear about, um, was um, how they were part uh, participating in the um, underserved community because it almost sounded as though it was geared specifically for South County or Crown Point area, but um, it didn't say how they were going to engage um, the other uns underserved areas of Lake and Porter counties. That's it. All right, excellent. Thank you so much, Jane and Angelina. Uh, panelists, does anyone else have any new additional or opposing comments on application seven? Um, for me, I would uh, make sure your social media is visible because I could not open the Facebook event or your Instagram page. So just make sure it's public so we can check it out. Mary beat me to it. That's what I was going to say. All right, excellent. Any other panelists have any comments on application seven? If not, Thank you, panelists. Please finalize your scores and update your online comments for Application 7 Crossroads Connect.
panelists, if everyone wants to give me a thumbs up if you're ready to move on. Fantastic. Kenya, am I seeing a thumb? Okay. <laughs> All right, great. Thank you so much. Moving on to application eight. These are Batisti Lodge. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, we'll hear from first reader Kenya. Now, um, what I have, it says um, Fiesta Italiana. Um, is that is correct. The, the Battisti Lodge um, uh, puts on the Festa Italiana. Okay, thank you. Um, as um, I thought that it was um, a great idea um, to expose others to um, Italian American um, culture, American Italian culture, and through dance and through the different arts. Um, where um, what I was wondering though is how do you necessarily um, market it to the underserved communities and um, put it further out so that everyone knows about it and it's a more diverse um, situation to be able to come and experience it. Um, I also wanted to know, because I know, I believe at one point it said that um, that they would measure the success by um, how many people showed up. But I also think that surveys should be um, should be used so that they can see what they might need to improve on from year to year. Um, because sometimes people will come to events for one year and then might not be interested in going the following year um, for various reasons. Um, another thing, another thing that concerned me was that um, their budget did not balance. Um, their, um, their cash income was almost twice as much as um, the total expenses of the project was um, a concern to me because they were supposed to match and they did not fit the guidelines. And I think that's pretty much um, all I had as far as this application went. Okay, great. Thank you, Kenya. And anything new, additional, or opposing from Second Reader Mary? So I thought you had a good um, detailed information about the artists and how they were selected. Um, to me, you had a catching, uh, catchy and engaging marketing piece. And you also incorporated the Indiana Arts Commission logo on your flyer. So that was a plus for me. Um, you had great collaboration within the community to engage um, audience and provide input. Um, I will disagree from Kenya and say that I thought they had some great tools to measure impact. While attendee um, made face-to-face uh, -face, um, counting the numbers is just a short term, you also have follow-up e-surveys, um, performer interviews, suggestion boxes, and reviews to determine your, um, your weaknesses or your um, strengths of the organization's program. I was a little concerned on the budget when you had miscellaneous ex expenses, um, and that was higher than some of the other categories in your expenses. All right, excellent. Thank you, Kenya and Mary. Uh, panelists, are there any new additional or opposing comments on application eight? Hearing none, app uh, panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments for application eight. Panelists, does anyone need any more time to finalize application eight? 
No. Fantastic. We'll move along, please. To application nine, African American Achievers Youth Corps. And we'll first hear from first reader Angelina. Alrighty. Um, I think this is a nice project. I don't see too many of these um, these type of projects around. This is kind of like the first one I've ever heard about that um, exists. So I think it's kind of a, a a neat concept for something to do in the north part, part of the county. And um, they did mention that they had a little problem last year with um, the first day being uh, very much attended and then the second day of the event where it, it dropped drastically. So it wasn't as successful as the first day. So I was kind of curious as far as um, some way to change that, perhaps maybe uh, having the more su um, supportive sponsors that are returning this year to separate or divide them um, into the both both days so that they can have a little bit more of um, a foundation for both days and then having the new sponsors intertwined with that between the two days so it's a little bit more balanced for participation. Um, wondering if they would have more outreach to the universities. They did mention a little bit of that, but um, reaching out to the students because um, the pricing is phenomenal and it's, it's college pricing. So um, that's a wonderful age group to bring to this type of an, an event. And perhaps they can do something like um, have them participate on the committee. So they can get the experience, maybe do a college project with that and br bring their friends to invite more participation um, for that second day that they had a little problem with. Um, curious as far as how they were going to obtain their artists for um, meet and greet. Um, I'm not sure if they were going to have that for both days or throughout the event, or is it at the reception? That was unclear. Um, or what the, or why they thought the, the first day was more attended than the second day. So they weren't certain about that. They do say they do have surveys, but um, they didn't get a, a lot of feedback from the surveys. Um, perhaps a, a before and after survey might be a little bit more helpful. Um, let's see. And I think that's about it. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Angelina. And Matt, any new additional or opposing comments, the second reader? Um, I think she hit most of them. I slightly disagree. I thought they did a great job of engaging. Uh, they seem the applica application presented an organization that clearly shows understanding of the importance of community engagement uh, in the process. Um, as they, in my mind, they presented multiple examples for the participants and the presenters. Uh, the marketing materials and social media and web presence reflect those they seek to serve. And I thought the figures um, seemed reasonable based on past history and the venue size. Um, once again, as an area of improvement, addressing and responses in the proper format really helps to make the application easier to read. Um, as opposed to getting one long response and I just think overall with some small improvements, this strong application can be made even stronger. Excellent. Thank you, Angelina and Matt. Panelists, do we have any additional new or opposing comments on application nine? Uh, yes, I just had one under, uh, well, actually two under project management. Um, Vernon Smith seemed to be overloaded with the responsibilities for this event and I just uh, wondered if other board members had any responsibilities. Excellent. Anyone else? Fantastic. Panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments for application nine.
Thank you, Matt. If I could see a thumbs up from panelists, if you're ready to move on. Fantastic. Thank you all so very much. So um, we're 75% of the way through. So I'll uh, ask once again, if there's a need for a quick break or if we'll just power through the remaining three applications. Panelists, you all okay? Excellent. Fantastic. We'll move along then. Application 10, Tradewind Services, hearing from first reader, Mary Fell. Okay, great. This project enhances arts with those all from all abilities from youth to adults. Um, you had great um, in-depth analysis on your underserved um, that you're trained to reach. Um, although I would like to um, know a little bit more on how you're going to utilize um, their inputs for your program. So those that include disabilities under $30,000 and African Americans, how are you going to use their input? Um, Maybe you need to ask the participants orally or um, what they liked or wanted more of just to make sure accommodations are taken into place. I like that you had a good increase in volunteers from the last year. So that seems like your organization has um, built in capacity. Um, I would have liked to gone in more detail in depth into the strategies and initiatives of the um, IDEA and how they're going to relate to your program. It looks like you had a very high quality marketing piece that showed impact um, with, within your organization and your partners. Um, your Facebook page was up to date and very thorough and with a lot of information and resources. Um, you had good information about the top three people of, for project management, but I would like some more information about your volunteers and what the following skills um, that they bring to the organization. Um, you have a very basic timeline and I would like to have a more detailed timeline to showcase when you are going to do things such as get sponsorships and donations, decide the schedule and evaluation. Um, your budget is relevant to me in income and expenses. Um, you do not have any in-kind donations, but you do have volunteers. So next time you could probably put some volunteer hours into your budget. Excellent. Thank you, Mary. And second reader, Jane, any new additional or opposing comments on application 10? Uh, yes. Um, I'd like to recommend a closer reading of the questions to make certain that your answers address the question. I felt that there was a lot of um, extraneous material about the programs and stuff that was not asked in the question. We know you're very proud of your programs and it's very commendable, but um, we really look for specific answers to specific questions. And again, the um, numbering according to the guidelines would really help. Um, I would have liked more specifics about who the instructors artists were and how you select them. Uh, also um, seeing more concrete evaluation information and um, how do people without internet access find out about your program? That's it. All right, excellent. Thank you, Mary and Jane. Uh, other panelists, are there any additional new or opposing comments on application 10? I just had, I think they kind of tried to address um, the question related to uh, what tools and methods will be used to measure the project's impact. Um, the application states that the impact is determined by the enthusiasm and excitement of our participants. I guess I would have liked to have seen details on how you quantify that number or how you were able to tell um, that level of it, uh, enthusiasm and excitement. That was my only thought. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Anyone else? Kenya or Angelina? No? All right, fantastic. We will move along to applicant 11, Seedling Theater Company. Turning it over to first reader, Matt Franklin. Sorry about that. Uh, panelists, can you please finalize your scores and comments for applicant 10, Tradewind Services? Sorry.
Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Panelists, if you could give me a thumbs up when you've completed your task for application. Fantastic. Now we will move along. In theater, that's called jumping the queue. Um, now we'll move along to application 11, Seedling Theater Company. Turning it over to first reader, Matt Franklin. Um, I thought the purpose and the goals of the proposed arts projects were clear. The auditions uh, are presented as open to anyone who is interested and the presented materials show a group that seems committed to putting on a, product, a production of high quality and impact. Um, the organization shows the understanding of the importance of community engagement in the process as the application presents multiple examples. Although a suggestion might be to have one of your venues regulars be part of the planning, uh, the regulars in quotes, uh, be part of the planning for that particular show. The marketing materials and social media web presence were top notch and projected participation seemed reasonable based on past history. I'd like to see more details as to how your organization is looking to expand on the idea strategies to increase access, address barriers, diversify participants and provide accessibility accommodations, working with the team at each venue. Um, as far as project management, uh, the lead staff person seems appropriately experienced for the project, but more detail on the others involved would be beneficial, at least for me. Uh, the organization's experience seems to show that the budget and timeline for this type of program, um, you know, shows that your group can plan and implement it with the presented budget. Seems reasonable to me. And that's it. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Any new additional or opposing comments from second reader Kenya? Matt hit everything that I was planning to say on that one. Um, pretty much he was very thorough with that one. And um, I would like to see how they plan on making it more, a little bit more diverse, like um, Matt said. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Matt and Kenya. Panelists, are there any additional new or opposing comments on application 11 seedling theater company i guess i'll go um i'm a little different uh i'm unclear a little bit you said you'll utilize innovative ways i just would have liked some more information about how you're going to be innovative and i know like those kind of um diff with different venues i just want a little more information about your innovation excellent thank you mary jane um uh, I, I think that um, their evaluation needs beefing up and something more specific would be helpful in planning future programs. And some ways might be putting cards on tables with short answer questions or tokens that can be placed into yay or nay buckets. Um, there are many ways that they could uh, access that information from participants. And also, um, just a question about their financial sheet. It didn't contain any information for 2019. The information there was from 2018. Uh, did they skip a year? Maybe a little explanation would have been helpful. Thank you. Excellent. Angelina, anything on application 11? OK, great. So panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments for application 11, Seedling Theater Company. Panelists, if I could see a thumbs up when you're done with application 11. Fantastic. Thank you all very, very much. Now moving on to our final application of panel review session three, applicant 12, the Isaac Walton League of America. 
and we will hear from first reader Jane Lohmeyer. Jane, you're on mute. This is a festival named Gnomes Day Out. Um, they say that this is, that they've had none in prior years, yet in the grant it says that it's five years, so um, I think that was just a misunderstanding. Uh, the project sounds interesting. I think a simple statement about the improvements in the festival location would be sufficient rather than detailing all the items lacking in the past. Uh, maybe a one sentence explanation, uh, but that would come later in the grant. Um, I would like a more succinct description of the project's purpose. There was just a lot of excess information given. Stick to the questions. Um, under community engagement, I think relying on an online survey for your evaluation may be risky. Um, perhaps a short hard copy survey could be available at the festival and dropped into a basket on the way out or at stations throughout the festival. Um, I know that they described, um, I believe, a ferry going around and talking to people, which is okay, but something a little more concrete. The, um, my question about the online survey is that people, once they have left the event, usually it's out of sight, out of mind. So they wouldn't get the, as much participation as they might like. Um, under project management, it would be much easier for the grant reader if you followed the suggested format for presenting your financial information. Um, this is always difficult to evaluate. We're not um, accountants, or at least some of us aren't. I don't know if any are. Um, and so following the format that is uh, suggested to you really makes reading the application so much easier. Um, also, I could have brought this up earlier, and I'm not sure whether this is just for this group or whether this has, there's a problem in the application process, but using acronyms rather than the whole name um, was kind of confusing for me. I had to go back and, and always look up to see what the, the letters stood for. And so using your name as your grant name is very helpful. Thank you. Excellent, thank you, Jane. And are there any new opposing or additional comments by second reader, Angelina? Okay, I do have a couple. Um, let's see, I wasn't quite, quite clear. I love the concept of them wanting to move their event to Hawthorne Park um, because of the availability of um, electricity and um, the present location is not ADA accessible. So um, it wasn't clear if they were able to move it yet, but um, I think the wish list was with regard to them doing so. Um, great idea. Um, let's see. Um, it, I thought it was, uh, they had a unique variety of events for the par participants. Um, but was curious as to um, how they were going to reach out to the underserved. Um, I didn't, I wasn't clear as far as how are they going to reach them and let them know that this event was um, available. And um, as with regard to the survey, they did say something about um, during the event, they have a survey where the participants or the children draw things that they would like to see that. I don't know how, um, how um, helpful that would be, but I thought that was an ingenious idea. And um, the timeline seemed doable. Um, that's it. All right, excellent. Any of our other panelists have comments on application 12, Isaac Walton, League of America? So for me, you had um, in the budget section, you had about comfort stations. And that was the first time I had um, 
read that you were using comfort stations. It wasn't in your um, community engagement or your goal of the project. So I was just a little unclear of what you're going to do with comfort stations. Excellent. Matt or Kenya? Um, no. the only, sorry, the only thing for me was the marketing materials and social media web presence reflects a variety of ages, but I thought there were opportunities to present more diversified participants, which might help to um, pull in a, a wider range of audience members when they can see themselves reflected in the marketing. Excellent. If there are no other comments on application 12, panelists, if you could please finalize your scores and update your online comments. Excellent. A big thumbs up right now will not only help me, but will also assist Donna and Paige in moving the process forward. Fantastic. It looks like everyone has completed finalizing their scores and comments. Jane, are you good? Yes. All right. Fantastic. Panelists, thank you so much for your insightful comments. We'll now turn it over to the staff of South Shore Arts and the Indiana Arts Commission. Great, thank you, Jeff. And uh, thank you, panelists. If you could just stay a few minutes longer, that would be great. As for the applicants, our IT specialist, Brett, uh, we'll go ahead and move everybody into the waiting room as we would like to have a little debrief with the panelists, and, but I'm glad that you all were able to attend um, so that you can get, get this valuable feedback. All right, looks like it's just the gang. Great job, everybody. And Jeff, really wonderful uh, job um, ushering everyone through the process.